Hey everyone, I'm going to give you a look at the Microsoft Office Suite on the Xperia Z4 tablet. So when you first get it, you see this Microsoft Office Suite here is installed. And you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, OneDrive, and Skype. So Sony and Microsoft have a partnership going on right now. So it's uh, automatically pre-installed. And you see here, just when you first load it up, it's pretty similar to the desktop view. Now you see that uh, upgrade there I'm going to talk about in a minute. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering what exactly you get if you don't pay for uh, a, a subscription service like Microsoft 365, um, which I'm not subscribed to. I don't have any subscription services to Microsoft Office. Um, now you do need a Microsoft Office account, but that's free to create. Um, even if you have like an Xbox Live account, that'll work. I'm pretty sure it'll work anyways. Um, so from what I've seen so far, you actually can create a lot of stuff on here. See here, there's some blank templates and uh, other type of templates you can use. I'll just use the blank one. Here's just a look at the menu at the top. Now, I don't have the um, keyboard yet. I'm going to be getting that soon. But I'll just show you. You can edit stuff. Um, you can change the font size. See there, I brought up a table. Now there's other information online about how much you can access without paying for an upgrade. But uh, I'll show you what this says here. So I think it, you get most of the features without paying for it. Alright, so if you install Word, Excel, or if you buy a subscription Office 365, it will install Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote. On your PC or Mac, you get a terabyte of OneDrive online storage you unlock extra features and here's the pricing so as for those extra features here's the list of them yeah so at least from what I've seen so far it's um, pretty substantial amount of stuff you can do on here and I'll show you guys also Excel. So again, it's very similar looking to uh, the desktop view of the current Microsoft Office. So that's just a formula I put in earlier. You know, unfortunately I haven't used too much of this without having the keyboard yet. But I'll, I'll show you guys some of what you can do. Again, similar, you can change the fonts. And most of these buttons, I've tried using them before. Most of them seem to work. Put in a table there. Uh, go back. Try a chart. Yeah, so I wasn't planning on 
uh, buying a subscription of this, and after uh, playing around with it for the first few hours here, I still don't think I will be buying a subscription. I'm definitely really excited about getting the keyboard. And here's also a look at PowerPoint. This is just something I did before. This edit the font again. You can do different sizes. Um, create new slides. Put in tables. Put in the slideshow from the beginning here. Yeah, so again, I'm um, pretty excited about getting my keyboard because this is more fully fudged out than I was expecting. And um, I'm actually going to be able to get a decent amount of work done on here, I think. This is great, and uh, I might even be able to replace my laptop with this. So I'll keep you guys updated, and I'll have a more in-depth video once I get the keyboard. All right, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.